Welcome back, everybody. Now, iconic multi-award winning South African play. Saturday night at the Palace will once again grace the Gauteng stage 41 years after its explosive debut during apartheid back in 1982. Opening at the Joburg Theatre on the 28th of July until the 28th of August, Saturday night at the Palace is bound to have just as poignant an impact as it did when it rose to acclaim in the 1980s and was described as shattering and political theatre at its best. Written by award-winning playwright and actor Paul Slaboslepsi in 1981, the play launched Slaboslepsi's theatrical career and quickly earned him a reputation as one of the most skilled theatrical writers and performers in the country. Joining us now in studio is actor Charlie Bouginon as well as director Albert Maritz joining us on Zoom. Gentlemen, a very good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Sipio. Thanks for having us. Morning. morning. It's an absolute morning, pleasure. Charlie. Good stuff. Now, Albert, I'm going to start with you. Saturday Night at the Palace has a phenomenal local and international prestige with sold out shows across the country in 1983. Just tell us about some of the uh, accolades collected. I know, you know, we've been meeting and chatting with Paul Sabulepsi often now. Uh, and he's been telling us that they played in, in the old Vic Theatre and they, you know, they played all, uh, quite, a, quite a number of uh, theatres all over the world. They were in America with the play as well. Um, and uh, it's something like over a thousand performances. Um, so the play was, was uh, and, and well laureated. Eh? It, uh, it, it is quite an astounding piece of work also. You know, I can tell you it's a very, very well crafted script. Yeah. I mean, it's making its, uh, you know, its debut on Houting stage about 41 years uh, after its original showing. So what has changed? Any major changes or any additions have been made into uh, this particular showing? I think we are uh, responsible, you know, to not change the script okay. to, to any visible format. You know, it, it's, it's an astounding piece of classical work by Paul Slabolepsi. But what has changed, I think, is the emphasis. Um, it was very clearly a protest play in the 80s. It, mm -hmm. it had, had very, um, you know, uh, little other, the, the prime problem of the time was racism. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I think it's uh, something different, you know, it, it definitely will also have some emphasis on uh, racism. But I think it's, uh, it's uh, you know, what makes it a, a classical script is the fact that it will stand the test of time, of course, I trust. And that is the relationship between people, any people, you know, so yeah. we have these wonderful actors, you know, Charlie, who you've got there with you, Francois Jacobs and uh, Samson Kumalu. And between the three of them, they, they are making this magic, you know, which is uh, people and the relationship between each, each other. And what happens when people come into the pressure pot of life? Uh, I think that that is the, the telling characteristics of the play, the, the script in this day and age. Right, right. Charlie, let me also bring you in. I mean, this is surely and truly a classic play. So let's talk about your role and uh, how easy or difficult it was for you to adapt. Oh, Simpi, let me tell you, this is, this is a monstrous role. It's a play that I've loved. I read it for the first time when I was in high school. Yeah. It, it is a prepared work for a lot of high school students. We've got a lot of school performances coming in. Um, and when I read it the first time, it's exactly that. It shatters you. Mm -hmm. You're just like, how... How can people, how can, you know, it's watching dominoes fall, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're watching the night unfold. It starts about at two o'clock in the morning at a roadhouse and it kind of starts unsuspectingly, you know, these, these two mates that rock up and it's closing and then to see how things get out of control. And it's truly tragic in the sense of when you finish watching this play, you really just sit there. You know, I always find powerful theater makes you leave the theater with more questions than answers. Answers, you know, right. it moves you. Right. You know, what I think is so powerful is that this was a mirror to society and especially in the time. And what's wonderful about doing it 41 years later and that it's still a celebrated classic is seeing with a different viewpoint, because obviously things have changed between 1982 and now sure. and having a little bit. So, some of the things become like in jokes where you're like, oh, we know how that's going to end. And but it's just wonderful to also realize how we've grown as people, not even in South Africa, but globally, uh -huh. you know, and remembering, never forgetting where we come from. 
yeah. you know, yeah. because I think it's very important that we don't fall into the kind of pitfalls that we did in the past. And it's very important to, to, to be you're alive with the history that we have and, yeah. and knowing the relationships and that sort of thing. So we don't make repeat mistakes, I'd say. No doubt as, uh, I mean, the first time you read this book so many years ago, it was so chilling, spine chilling. You yeah. had goosebumps, I would imagine. Yeah, 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 and yeah. now that you acting, in, you are in the story uh, like 41 years or so later. And um, I, I'm sure that you still have the same feeling. I do. You know, it's very interesting reading a play and then trying to play the play. Play the play. And also right. Paul Slab's work, his writing is is really. It, it, it has such a specific voice. Mm -hmm. When you read a Paul Slab Alepsi play, you're like, that's a Paul Slab that's play. Exactly you I'm know, and about, it's yeah. powerful. The way that he understands relationships and people and set and setting in history, etc. It's just wonderful how he lifts these things out so that audiences can enjoy them Absolutely. and also try to understand them. And it's a it's a monstrous text in the sense of also very much the language is 1982 South Africa. Mm. So there's a lot of slang. There's a lot of, you know, nuance and that sort of thing that comes through. That is that makes it very challenging yeah. for a modern mouth to make it still understandable to an audience. And a great history, history lesson, I must add. Ooh, we oui. <laughs> <Right>. Powerful. <laughs> Lovely chatting you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. Unfortunately, you're out of time. Thank you, Sapir. Good stuff. All right, that was actor Thank Charlie Bujino, as well as uh, director Albert Marit speaking to us about the multi-award winning South African play Saturday night at the Palace, which opens at the Johannesburg Theatre on the 28th of July. This is an absolute must-see.